So we've seen how to grab nodes of the DOM and ask them uh, different attributes of those nodes or elements to change, but it doesn't make sense to really do it right up front when a page loads, because why didn't we just code it that way to begin with? Um, it does make sense to wait for some kind of user interaction or event to trigger some kind of change on the page. So here we're looking at events, um, which is a type of object that cr is created when a user interacts with the page in some way. So there are a ton of these, um, but let's just look at the most common ones. So there's on click, and these already exist. Um, you just have to look for them and then ask things to happen when they occur. Um, on click is when a user clicks on an element, so that could actually be a button, which makes sense to click on. It could be any element on the page, there's a particular paragraph, a picture, whatever. Um, there's on mouse over, which is basically a hover. Um, so when they roll the mouse over the thing, you can cause this event to trigger. Um, there's some keyboard interaction ones, so for example, on key up, so when the user releases a key on the keyboard, um, as you can imagine, there's also on key down. Uh, there's on load, which happens when the document has been loaded, so when the whole page is finished loading, this, this event will fire, which is a nice little way you might think to um, wait till make sure everything is loaded before you start doing JavaScript things, so you can wait till everything's loaded before you trigger um, actions to happen. And then there's on focus, um, which is what happens when an element gets focused, and this is um, a lot of times for when somebody's tabbing around the page with the tab key, um, which you can use to traverse the parts of a page. Okay. So there's two ways you can attach your events, and one is to literally write it into the element. So for example, um, here I've got a p tag. I have added an attribute, um, which is actually my event detection. So I'm going to say on click um, equals, and inside the quotes here, I have put the name of a function that I've written somewhere else. So when this particular paragraph, so when the word hey gets clicked, it's going to call this function called say hello, and if you look um, to wherever this function is written, uh, it'll pop up in an alert that says hi. So whenever somebody clicks on this word hey, it's going to pop up in a, a little pop-up window that says hi with an OK button. Okay, So that is um, creating an event actually inside of a tag or element uh, as an attribute. Um, the other alternative is to find a node using our get element or get elements by ID or class or tag name or whatever you want, and then adding an event to it. So here's an example. Um, pretend I found a node and I stored it in a var called element. Then I can write a piece of JavaScript that says element.onClick equals function, and then inside the curlies I can write the function to do whatever I like. So that's the second way you can have an event set up ready and listening, basically, for that action to happen.